guys, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. I'm trying so hard not to smile right now because the white liquid liner from NYX is just trying its hardest to crack right now. So today's video, I'm going to give you a glam version of a zombie, which I figured, why not new, a pop art zombie. I am obsessed with this and as of now, it has been about three hours since I started, so... Yeah. The gore version of this look is obviously going to be an actual zombie look. I don't know how that's going to turn out because, you know, this is all I've done so far. And I've been wanting to do a pop art zombie look for the longest time and now that I finally have, I don't know if I want to take it off. So if you want to see how to get this, then just keep watching and afterwards I'll show you how to get the gore zombie. So starting off with an angled brush, I'm dipping it into the blue, which is the color I chose for this, and then I um, carved out the shape of my mouth and then covered the rest of my face, excluding the areas where I knew I was going to be putting other colors and shapes. In this tutorial, I used my Make It Forever Flash palette, but you can also use the uh, face paints that you get from Party City or any other place. but. I just like these because they are better quality. I then took another brush, which was just a paint brush, and I dipped it into a peachy, corally color, and I covered my under eyes with this. I then took a magenta color and um, just carved around that outer um, perimeter of it, I guess, to create some shadow and dimension. Then, taking a white color, I used this small brush to carve out some teeth on my face in the hole that I left when I carved out my mouth. The next thing I did is I took this large felt tip eyeliner and I started carving out where my nose was not going to be because the reason why we're using black is to make it look like the nose does not exist. I then just took my black from the Make It Forever Flash palette and went over that because it wasn't as black as I wanted it to be. And then I took a magenta from the same palette and I drew on some lips and I made them look as cartoony and as perfect as possible. I also overlined them quite a bit to make them pointed on the end. I then just took the same magenta color and I outlined that eye under eye part again and to create more dimension, I kind of blended it in over the blue to make a purple so that the fade was more gradient. I then just took that black again and I went around my teeth to show each individual tooth. Now I'm going to be taking the yellow in the same palette and carving out my eyebrow. Now I'm just taking the dark blue in the palette and applying that into my crease to make dimension and shadow. I then just took black and I put some lines in that under eye part and I also outlined it in black. I then just covered my whole entire eyelid on my other eye and under my eye with black and then I took a peach color and filled in the rest of the space. Life. I work from nine to five. 
I then just took a fluffy brush and blended out the black into the peach to create a nice gradient. I then just created this stretched looking rectangle on my cheek and I added some magenta to make it look more dimensional. The white that I added was supposed to be my cheekbone. It didn't turn out quite like I wanted it to, but I still like it. After that, I outlined my mouth in black, and then I started to outline the cheek in black. And I proceeded to outline my lips in black and then I outlined my eyebrow in black and that way everything just looks like it's its own piece and it was just drawn on. I created these lines in my left eye to make it look more like muscle. It didn't turn out quite as planned but I still like the way that it turned out overall. And then I created this black line on my neck and then I started making lines around my face where there was an, an indention and where you want to create shadows. You also want to line your ears if you're doing it the way I did and what I did is I took a magenta and I covered the parts of the ear that I didn't put the blue to make it look like the skin had been ripped off or something. I really don't know what I was going for here. And then I took a darker blue and I filled in all of those places that I made those lines where you wanted the shadows to be and that really just created the shadow that I was talking about. And then going back down to our neck, I just created this curly, gooey thing coming out of the neck piece. I have no idea what I was thinking. I, I mean, I like the way it turned out, but I don't know what it was supposed to be. Um, and I filled that in with yellow and then I took a small brush and added black dots all over my face and then I proceeded to take a white eyeliner and I made white dots all over my face. I also put some black and white lines to make it where there is distress there and where the skin might be turning or curving. I then popped in some black contacts and this is how it all turned out. Starting off the gore look, I'm taking this SFX transfer and I'm following the directions. What you do is you just take the clear part off that has the transfer and then you put it back onto the piece um, face down and you press it down. And then what I did is I peeled that clear transfer back off after pressing it down and it was stuck there. I really like this transfer um, better than the other ones that you would put on with spirit gum, honestly, because it looked so real and it was pressed against my face so thinly. But anyways, after I took off that clear transfer, it was stuck like this. And what you want to do after that is just stick it on your face and wet the other side like it's a temporary tattoo and then peel the backing off and it's there. I then decided to put a gunshot wound on my forehead and I just applied this with spirit gum and then I took some liquid latex 
and I just applied this all over my face to the point where when it dried and the sponge hit it and pulled up, it would basically make holes everywhere and make it look like my skin is decaying off. Just a reminder with the liquid latex, you don't want to get this in your eyes. It stinks really, really bad, and if you got it in your eyes, it might be really dangerous and you could lose your vision. So just be careful when using that. I wanted some more unevenness on my cheekbones, so I applied some more liquid latex, and then I applied one tier of some toilet paper, and then I applied liquid latex over that. I created this mixture for color, um, mixing my foundation with the green color from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. If you're wearing this on Halloween, I would uh, recommend blending it down your neck, but um, I didn't just for the sake of time. Um, I also felt that it was too green, so I applied my foundation over top of that, and I feel like it helped, but it wasn't as fleshy as I wanted it to be, so I just fixed it later. On the gunshot wound, it was a cheap um, piece, so I put some toilet paper around that to really blend the gunshot wound into my skin so it didn't look like it was just, you know, sitting on top of it, if you know what I mean. Um, and then I blended everything out. I put foundation on top again to make sure everything matched and to make it less green, of course. Then I just took some green, yellow, purple, and I blended that over the bite mark to make it look infected and decaying. I also did that around the gunshot wound and all of the other holes that I created in my skin. My main objective here was just to make it look like I was infected and I was decaying and falling apart and sick and just really gross and I feel like the purple just kind of helped it a lot. I didn't think that, you know, purple would be with a zombie but, you know, um, it worked and then I took a red and black to make it look more bloody like the skin was really falling apart and that was just zombie blood falling off of me you want to add red under the eyes and then I also started to blend everything together and it just made it look so disgusting and it was really gross <laughs> I then took some scab blood and I applied it in all of the teeth holes uh, in my cheek and in most of the decaying holes and around my mouth to make it look like I was recently eating. I made it look like there was blood gushing from the uh, gunshot wound and just coming out of every hole in my face. <laughs> I then put it on my hand and I just created this blood thing across my neck. I don't really know what I was doing with that. But it all turned out very nice and I loved it. It was nice and scary and yeah. So this is the end of the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I kind of just won this one. I look so disgusting. I, uh, I, mm. <laughs> Make sure to comment down below if you're going to use any of these looks for Halloween. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! It looks like a purple people leader to me. It was a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people leader. A one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people leader. Sure looks strange to me.